Welcome back to Done With Depression. We're on the last two chapters of the Four Agreements book. And we're gonna be talking about breaking old agreements and the new dream. So if you guys haven't seen uh, the other videos that I've done, you can check up here and I'll have a link to the playlist of my other videos. So we're talking about breaking the old agreements. So true freedom has to do with the human spirit. We are not free because we're domesticated. So if you remember, we're do domesticated when we're younger to agreeing to these certain agreements in the book of law, which creates the judge and the victim. So we're not truly free because we're domesticated. Uh, small children are truly free and express their emotions freely before they're domesticated. And we keep ourselves from freedom by our agreements judge, book of law, and the victim. We cannot free ourselves because we don't know that we aren't free. We're always searching for freedom, but we don't know that we're holding ourselves um, and keeping ourselves from getting the freedom that we're searching for. Um, without awareness, we cannot change and we'll continue to keep suffering. So without awareness of us knowing that we're not truly free, we'll just continue to suffer. And it goes on in three, and mentions three masteries, which are awareness, transformation, and intent. And it says if you can master these three, that you can be truly free. So it says intent makes transformation of energy possible. Intent is life itself and intent is love. So it talks a lot about uh, energy and creating your own intent and your own energy out there and then being able to transfer good energy and things like that. Uh, next, it goes on to talk about domestication and it's comparing it to a parasite that makes people sick um, and the fear that we have inside all of us feeds the parasite. So the definition of a parasite is a living being who lives off of other things, sucking their energy without any useful contribution in return. And it's saying that's exactly what domestication is. And the parasite is feeding off of our fear that we have inside of us and growing bigger and bigger. Parasite is the judge, victim in the belief system that controls our mind with fear. So the parasite takes over based on all the fear that we have and creates this new dream and reality for us um, based on the fear. Uh, then it goes to talk about enlightened people or warriors, and warriors are at war against the parasite in their mind to be free. And it says there's three different ways to reach freedom. We can reach heaven when we destroy the parasite and we can kill it head by head stop feeding the parasite or symbolically die and the parasite will die too. So the first method is through awareness, which is taking an inventory of our bad agreements, adopting positive agreements and continuing to do that. So that's the head by head method. You take one bad agreement, you replace it with a new good agreement and you keep doing that over and over. It can take um, a lot longer than the other two methods. The second one is to stop feeding the parasite. So fear, which feeds the parasite, leads to emotional wounds. And so if we take that and we forgive others because we love ourselves, and then you can forgive yourself and you'll stop self-rejecting and you'll stop like rejecting yourself, then you can have self-acceptance and love. So it starts out with fear, leads to emotional wounds, forgiving others because we love ourselves, forgiving yourself and forgiving yourself for self-rejection and self-acceptance of yourself and self-love. The truth is painful because it opens the wound caused by lies. But the awareness that we are at war with leads to discipline in ourselves and control over our own emotions. The last one is to live every day in the present as if it's your last day. The parasite will die because it cannot live on the emotions of the past. So it's mostly saying that the fear comes from the past and if you live in the present then you won't create fear and you won't create anything to kill the parasite. 
Also, if you're living every moment like your last, you're essentially preparing to die in every moment. And in doing that, the parasite cannot live either. The last part is creating the new dream for yourself. And this is a lot of uh, self-empowerment. It's saying the dream that you are living is your own creation. You create your own dream and can change it at any time. You have no fear and can experience the world of love around you. Bliss is love and love is bliss. And happiness and suffering are both a choice. So once we've gotten rid of all the bad agreements and we've gotten rid of the parasite, we are then in charge of creating our own new heaven, our new dream, and our new positive reality. And ultimately, in the very end, happiness and suffering are both a choice.